Hello and blessings beautiful souls, Sadava and I share to you, how are you today? So today has been a rough start to the day, I'm not going to lie, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Basically what's happened is, I was alerted early this morning on social media by several different people that somebody in the community, someone who might be considered my colleague, was in fact copying me. And that made me feel very, very, very sad. So, in order to get myself over that emotional hump, after I did my Instagram live and vented a little bit and received a bunch of different messages and phone calls from people asking me if I was alright and having nice conversations with me, I decided to just get a bit proactive about the whole thing and clean the damn house. So this is what I did. Clean the stovetop, chop kindling, organised kitchen bed, tucked things away, vacuumed the floor, vacuumed the carpet, made space in the sunroom, soaked bottles to de-label them, sweep the outside patio, filled the urn, had a cup of tea, organised my tea shelf, sorted out my incense, fed the puppy, find my axe, check the solar panels, and I also managed to get myself dressed. We're heading to Willie Smith's Apple Shed by way of the tip because we have rubbish to dispose of. We have arrived at Willie Smith's Apple Shed. This is the place where the autumn harvest markets are taking place right now. And oh my God, are they amazing? A bee just tried to sting me. favorite things about the Huon Valley is the strong creative vein that I feel flowing through the valley each and every market that I attend and just the nature of conversations that I naturally have with people express their natural creativity and I just find it so rich and just warm and just really beautiful and so I'm absolutely loving this region of the world and coming to places like this just fortifies that love in a way that is impossible to describe because every time I get to experience one of these beautiful new markets and, and get to see new handcrafts and things of that nature it just fortifies that, that decision that I made to come down here and experience a different kind of lifestyle. We left the autumn harvest and we're at a reputable burger joint that has been recommended in a little place called Rella. And so we're going to try it out for the first time. The decor is absolutely charming and it's just really pretty in here. On the downside, I don't feel well, like I feel nauseated at the moment. So if things don't improve, I probably won't have a vlog up over the next couple of days. Just thought I'd let you know well in advance because there is stuff going around at the moment and, um, and I'm hoping I haven't caught it but it might be the reality of the situation. I am currently sitting in the car by myself while everybody else is in the little cafe there. I couldn't even eat my food. I ordered it and then I looked at it and I just couldn't even eat it. So I'm going downhill fast and this is where I have to end the vlog despite the fact that I had more to say. <laughs> but I really think I'm gonna give myself a couple of days off from daily vlogging simply because I feel like I'm getting a stomach bug. And we all know how joyous that experience can be. And so I am going to binge watch television, set up a healing altar real quick, real simple, you know, smudge my corner of the sleep quarters <laughs> and just give myself a total pass. <laughs> So thanks so much for hanging out with me in this super sick vlog. <laughs> That's the first time I've used sick in context too. <laughs> At least I've still got my sense of humor. You know, I just would like to speak on that for a second. No matter how bad things get, I never lose my sense of humor. I just, my parents raised me right, hey. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today for this super fun vlog, which now that I think about it, I don't know when it's gonna go up. So hopefully I will have the ability to edit it today and then you will at least know that I'm not posting daily vlogs because I'm sick. Otherwise it's a bit redundant the other way around, right? 
<laughs> all right beautiful people much love to you i hope that you have an amazing time while i am bedridden just sending you so much love luck peace and joy take care of yourselves and support creative people that are on the rise and uh and make sure that if you spot people like ripping each other off like you know like the copyright infringement shit Oh, copyright plagiarism all that just do something about it like do be the, be the good samaritan in that uh scenario that's it that's it Bye. i am absolutely going to vom